If you clicked on this video, you probably want to get hired by a big tech company. Google, Meta, Microsoft, insert your favorite trillion dollar logo here. You've probably been told it's all about grinding leet code, memorizing system design patterns, and praying to the algorithm gods. But what if I told you the whole process is a weird cocktail of chaos, bureaucracy, and vibes? Let's start with step zero, getting noticed. You see the job listing, you polish up your resume, you hit apply, and then your application is launched directly into the void. It's not personal, it's just the system. Most of these companies use applicant tracking systems, or ATS bots, which scan your resume for keywords like Python, distributed systems, or Kubernetes with four years experience in a language that's only been around for two. If you don't hit the right combo, your application never even touches a human desk. But if someone inside the company refers you, now you're in the system. You've bypassed the robot gatekeepers and landed in someone's inbox. Suddenly, you're real. You matter. Now enter the recruiter. Their job is to decide whether you have enough signal to move forward. What is signal? Great question. Sometimes it's your open source contributions. Sometimes it's a few buzzwords. Sometimes it's the fact that you went to the same school as their cousin. If you pass that vibe check, congratulations. You've unlocked the next level. And here's where things get real weird. First, the technical phone screen. You have 45 minutes to solve a coding challenge that may or may not involve binary trees, graphs, dynamic programming, or all three in disguise. Then, if you survive that, it's on to the virtual on-site. This is like the final boss rush. Multiple rounds of algorithms, system design, behavioral questions, and sometimes pure chaos. One interviewer might ask you to design Instagram. Another might want to see how you handle a concurrency bug in C. You'll smile, you'll sweat, you'll pretend you remember how heaps work. But even if you crush every single interview, the final verdict isn't up to your performance alone. Enter the hiring committee, a secret council of engineers and managers who look at your interview feedback and decide whether you're hireable, not hired, just hireable. If one person on the committee thinks you're not worth the risk, you're out. It's not always about who's best for the job, it's about who's least likely to cause regret. Risk management as a career filter. And don't get me started on the interviewer lottery. Your experience can vary wildly based on who's asking the questions. Some interviewers are chill, helpful, maybe even rooting for you. Others act like they're guarding the gates of Mordor. You shall not pass! Same candidate, same skill level, different interviewer, totally different outcome. It's a system that pretends to be objective, but often comes down to timing, luck, and whether Bob had his coffee that morning. Now here's the wild part. Even if you get through all that and get the offer, there's still a good chance you were picked not because of your resume, but because the team needed a warm body and your interview packet didn't scare anyone. Most tech hiring is opportunistic. A team gets headcount. They tap the recruiter. You get lucky. That's it. The rest of us? Yeah. We wait for a recruiter to find our LinkedIn during Mercury Retrograde and decide we look hireable today. And yes, all of this might sound discouraging, but here's the upside. If the system is chaotic, you can game it. You can optimize for visibility, referrals, timing, and most importantly, interview prep. Because once you're in that interview room, it's your time to shine. Speaking of interviews, if you're tired of copy-pasting leet code problems into your brain and praying something sticks, you should check out Algo Monster. It is the smartest way to prep for coding interviews built by engineers from Google, Meta, and all the other companies you're secretly trying to impress. Unlike other platforms that just throw leet code problems at you like dodgeballs, Algo Monster teaches you through patterns with a fully structured learning plan that actually makes sense. And their new practice section doesn't just help you grind, it mirrors real interviews so you're not caught off guard when the pressure hits. Plus, they've got flowcharts to help you pick the best algorithm for the problem at hand, templates that give you a ready-to-use structure for your solutions, and even speedrun features for when you're cramming like it's finals week. Head over to Algo Monster using the link in the description to get 20% off. Thank you for sitting through another dumb tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.